Hey guys, was geht ab and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your photos standing out by faking the sun and using flares. Let's go! By the way, if you want to, you can download the same flare I use, just follow the link in the description. Now the most important question is probably how can we integrate this flare into our image. So first of all just drag your flare into your Photoshop workspace and yeah make it a little bit bigger like your image. Um, but yeah we can, we can transform it later as well. Confirm that by pressing enter. Obviously we need to get rid of the black background first. To do that just click on the layer and select the blending mode screen. Then position the flare and yeah you can use Ctrl or Command T to transform the flare if you want to. Alright I have to admit it looks a little bit fake right now. But no worries we can use the layer mask to mask out certain parts of the image and then we will get a more natural and clear result. Alright click on this little icon down here and select the brush tool by using the shortcut B or just click on the brush tool icon. Then select black as a foreground color and then adjust the size of your brush and the hardness of your brush. I always choose a hardness of 0% and a size so that it fits the face of the model. And then just brush over her face or over all the areas you don't want to have affected by the flare. Maybe with a little smaller brush here and then the, the hairs. Alright, looks good like this. And as you may have noticed, I didn't change the opacity in the beginning. So we have 100% opacity, that means the flare doesn't affect her face or contrast on her body. But that looks a little bit unrealistic too. So what we want to do now is we want to decrease the opacity of the layer mask. So click on the layer mask and click on properties. So if you don't have the window properties, just go on windows and select properties and now just decrease the density so that you like it and as you see we can regulate perfectly how much we want to have the effect on her face and um, so that it looks natural and for example on the hairs here we can paint it a little bit back so go down with the opacity of your brush use white as a foreground color and then brush over her hairs so that you get a nice natural effect all right, I think we already did a good job and yeah, the flare looks already quite natural, but no worries, we are going to push it even further. That was too easy, guys. So what we want to do next is we want to adjust the color and the contrast of the flare because that's what's going to make the flare even more natural so that you wouldn't even notice it. So if you want to change the color of a certain part of your image, the easiest way is to create a new Hue and saturation adjustment layer. So let's do that. All right, guys, pay attention. Here comes a very, very cool trick. Press Alt and click between the both layers so that you can see this icon and now click. Now the hue and saturation layer will only affect the layer below it, which is our flare. That means we don't even need to select the color. We can just use the hue slider to change the color of the flare. And you might want to pay attention to the little rainbows here. So the upper rainbow displays the old color, the original color. And the lower rainbow displays the new color after you change the hue. So for example our flare which is like orange is now pink. But yeah obviously you can tell that by looking at the picture. Yeah we just want to play around a little bit and we will find out that if we go for the red it looks more unnatural. because. The whole light situation is a little bit more yellow and a little bit more warm. We will just move a little bit towards yellow. And yeah, I think something like this looks very, very natural. And then in some cases it makes sense to adjust the saturation a little bit because sometimes it's oversaturated a little bit. So yeah, you can just go down with the saturation if you want to or even go up if you want to go crazy with it. So for now I will decrease the saturation a little bit just to keep it more natural because the whole image isn't that saturated. Now you might also want to adjust the brightness and the contrast of the flare a little bit. Well the easiest way to do that 
is to create a new levels adjustment layer and doing the same thing you can press alt and right click between the both layers and now the levels adjustment layer will only affect the flare if you move the left adjustment point for the darks a little bit to the right and the right adjustment point for the highlights a little bit to the left you brighten the highlights and darken the shadows so that means basically you adding contrast yeah just play a little bit around with it but don't go too crazy with it because it looks very unnatural very fast so yeah keep calm and just do it a little bit if you want to and with the middle adjustment point you can basically um, brighten up or darken up the whole flare but yeah as i said before keep it natural um, because if you do go too crazy you get things like that purple ring here and you don't want that just keep calm and do it a little bit if you want to and obviously you can always decrease the opacity a little bit all right guys that's it with the tutorial always be aware that we work completely non-destructive that means that if you don't like the color later or anything you can change everything again so you can change the layer mask the contrast the um color the opacity you can change everything always keep that in mind um yeah maybe a little trick just take a walk for five minutes maybe do something else and then go back to the image and check it again if it looks unnatural because you don't want people to think he's faking everything in his image you want to keep it natural so that everyone thinks you're a very good photographer right and another little hack if you will is that you keep the layers of the flare below your color grading so for example if you're adding some um, curves some other layers to create a cool color look keep the flare below it so that the adjustment layers will also affect the flare in this way you will get an even more natural um, feeling for the image and as I said in the beginning you can download the flare completely for free without any opt-in option on my website you will find the link below in the um, description of this video so yeah make sure to check it out and also make sure to hit the subscribe button because in the next video i'm going to show you how you can create your own flare just using photoshop without anything else um, so maybe if you lose your stocks or anything you can just create it by your own um, so it's definitely worth it and yeah maybe send that video to a friend of you if you liked it and maybe he can learn how to create crazy flares as well all right guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye